And that's his pattern. When things get difficult, he disappears, freaks out, or blames me. And when he reacts this way, how does that make you feel? You're kidding, right? How many times do you ask that question? Let's keep the focus on you. All right, yeah, it used to hurt, but I found ways around it. How so? Simple, I earn half the money, so I run the house, Plan the events, execute the events, clean up after the events, and then do it all over again. If he freaks out, I just let him. If he blames me, I just throw it back at him. And if he disappears, it really just doesn't matter because I was alone anyway. And so by taking all the responsibility in the relationship, you also take all the power. How does your daughter react to this family structure? She's not blind to it. I try, but you can't hide this mess. Let's talk about your mother. My mother's amazing. She's the strongest woman I know, mostly because she had to put up with my dad for so long. If she's so strong, why did she put up with him for so long? Okay, hold up a minute. Aren't you supposed to be helping me fix my issues, not find new ones? We've already discussed your issues with your mother. Might that be why you feel the need to monopolize the power in the relationship? So you don't end up like she did? Time's almost up, so we won't have time to get to your daddy issues today. Don't ask how I know. Any woman who comes in here in yoga pants has daddy issues. Oh, almost every woman wears you. All right, that reads. Almost every woman has daddy issues. What about men that wear yoga pants? Uh, they're the most secure individuals you've ever met. Really? No. So to recap, you're dealing with parenting issues, you're deep in a midlife crisis, which is manifesting in self-centered behavior and control issues. Wow. This is some bullshit. I didn't say it was a bad thing. I think what you're hearing as character flaws are actually just survival skills that you've needed to not lose yourself. Session's up. I will see you next week. Don't get lost. Four kings. Two nines. <laughs> All right, uh, two twos. Two tens. Two tens. Bullshit. Okay, that's not fair. Oh, shit! Here's an idea. How about you give us a 50% discount if I can diagnose our little problem? Babe, if we could do that, we'd save ourselves 100% and do this at home. Uh, Self-diagnosis is... Always 100% entertaining for me, so give it a go. We both need to stop being jerks, and we both need more sex. Okay, I actually agree with 75% of that. See what I mean? Wait, which 75%? Oh, the part about you being a jerk and the other part. Sweetie, our daughter was not immaculately conceived, okay? You can say the word sex. Okay, why does everything in couples therapy have to come back to being about sex? Because that's intimacy! Oh. That's a part of intimacy, and usually that only happens when there's trust. How's the trust in your relationship? What, <laughs> what trust? trust? Yeah. Uh, okay, why don't you tell, tell me, me more about, about that? that? Yeah, so predictable. Look, as previously discussed, the reason that I do not trust him is because his default is to freak out, blame me, or, or to disappear. disappear. I'm not the only predictable person in the room. <laughs> I like him. Now, if only you could like yourself. <sighs> Look, if he would give me just half the attention that he gives that yo-yo, then I don't know, maybe the relationship would take care of itself. Do you really want me to get rid of the one thing that keeps my anxiety in check? There are other things that could do that. Try holding hands. What? what? Sex needs intimacy. Intimacy needs trust, and trust begins by meeting in the middle. Well, at, at least you're both still willing to fight. And by the way, that's intimacy. So, Dad, how was your day today? Filled with crappy people doing crappy things and making crappy decisions, so... <laughs> a joy as usual. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, sweetie. It was a joke. Laughing at the end doesn't make it a joke. No.
The joke is our bank account and our lack of retirement. Okay, can we just say something positive? Well, I got my new track shoes today. I'm really excited to start breaking them in. New shoes. So I guess that is why we're dipping into our savings account again. And what was this? Huh? You told her not to tell me! Because I knew how you would react! You can't be proud of her for even one second! You've always got to zero in on the money! Well, I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying to teach her how to balance a budget unlike her mother. You know, maybe if she's lucky, she'll get a halfway decent job, and then she can retire before she's 90. And maybe if she's really lucky, she'll find a husband that'll treat her and her kid the way that her dad treats us. Don't make the mistake in thinking that just because you don't think you deserve the best that you don't have it. I'm not perfect, but I'm not trash. We're the best part of your life. Don't throw us away. Keep fighting. We're worth it. So are you. Thanks. Someone's gotta do it. But not alone. Sounds like we're making good progress. Already your body language is sending much better signals. You're telling me. I'm glad to hear it. But let's take a moment and talk about why you came here in the beginning. Let's take it back. You know, Doc, you really know how to kill a vibe, don't you? You mean that time that uh, we stopped hiding and started fighting? I'm sorry, Doc. I apologize. You were saying? It's your session. Is there anything on your mind? I mean, it, it is our hour, and yeah, I've got plenty on my mind. I just don't think we need to discuss it. Want to go fight it out? We're out. <laughs>